Hi, welcome to video for lesson three. Uh, so for C is our video. We're going to do just a couple more trig questions and just dive on in. Alrighty, so just like the last video ended, we're going to focus on that right triangle trig for just a second. Find the exact values of the six trigonometric functions if I'm given the right triangle, given the hypotenuse six and one of the sides, specifically the side opposite of the angle, is equal to two. Well, the first thing I want to do is deal with that right triangle. So we go to our old Greek wise man, Mr. Pythagorean himself, and we solve for that side B or A or whatever you labeled it as. So we end up labeling that side, the adjacent side to the theta angle. And now we're ready to set up for our so SOHCAHTOA, our sine, cosine, tangent, and then their reciprocals, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, just by flipping those values. So remember, I'm using SOHCAHTOA. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so 2 over 6 simplifies to 1 third. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 4 square root of 2 over 6, which could simplify to 2 square root of 2 over 3. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so 2 over 4 square root of 2 simplifies to 1 over 2 square root of 2. If we rationalize it, we end up with the square root of 2 over 4. That's it. You literally just take your parts, put them in the fraction, simplify if you need to. To get cosecant, secant, and cotangent, cotangent those are the reciprocals, so all we do is flip those answers. Ta-da! And that's it. All right, let's do one more. So now we have a right triangle with the sides labeled and a hypotenuse missing. So we go ahead and still use our old Greek man, solving for that missing uh, hypotenuse. Now we're ready to set up for our sine, cosine, tangent. Remember, we're using SOHCAHTOA. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is just the opposite over the adjacent side. Ta-da! To do the last three, we reciprocate. Boom. That's it. Guess what? I think we're on our last question, and we are because this was such a super simple, easy video. The final question wants us to find arc length. Well, that's a weird one. All you need is a formula, and just like on the exam, I would provide a formula. So here is that provided formula. Length of an arc is S, and that's equivalent to the radius of a circle multiplied, or diameter cut in half, but multiplied by the angle. But, pause, the angle has to be in radians. So the first thing I do is take 145 and convert it to radians. You can reference back an older video if you don't remember how to do that, or Google it. So I've now converted to radians, now I'm ready to plug it in. So I plug it in, multiply across, simplify it with a calculator, and that's it. That's simple, I swear it was that simple. All right, that's the end of our video. Bye-bye.